To give us more insights on this development, we have with us DOH Region 7 spokesperson, Dr. Mary Jean Lorece. Dr. Lorece, welcome to The Big Story. Magandang gabi po. Hmm, magandang gabi po. Linawin lang po muna natin kasi ang sinasabi ng Malacanang dinadivert dahil kulang daw ng quarantine facilities um, sa Cebu or for that matter to service the airport and those arriving in Mactan. How accurate is this? Um, kung base po talaga, titingnan natin, kung ang testing natin ay gagawin natin on day 7 at i-quarantine po natin si OSW or yung ating arriving na mga Filipinos from overseas, then kukulangin talaga tayo ng hotel rooms for them kasi yung ating pong naka-allocate ay mga 2,400 to 2,500. And you can just imagine na if you have 300 arriving or 500 arriving um, every day and then you quarantine them for 10 days to say you're going to test on day 7, that will really congest our hotel. So you will really lock food for them. But uh, that, that's the reason why we have two tests conducted. One is on arrival and uh, if it is negative in two to three days time when the results are out, we actually release them to our LG, but that is applicable only to our um, one Cebu province policy. So head to Korean because it is contained in our executive order from the local government unit. So mm -hmm. yun naman po, tas nagkakaroon tayo ng konting bakante na, 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 na i-release naman natin sila upon arrival kung negative yung swap results. But for the others na hindi dito pumapasok sa atin sa Cebu, ang ginagawa po natin, aside from upon arrival testing, tinitest po din natin sila on day 7, compliant with the IATF Resolution 114. At kung sakali man na negative nga sila, tapusin naman nila yung 10 to 14 days kahit na positive sila, i-release -re naman po sila sa kanilang mga LG. So basically, I think it's more of, um, I think, the computation of the rooms that will be required, and if they have to stay for the 10 to 14 days and swapping on day 7, talaga kung kukulangin, kakahulin po tayo, kakaputin tayo ng one. Okay, so is this something po that just needs to be clarified with the IATF, or for that matter, does the LGU have that option and that mandate to implement its own system? Kahit pa based on science, if there is some sort of a di um, uh, uh, divergence from what the IATF is saying, does the LGU have that option? Um, yan po, siguro, the best person to answer that would be the, the authorities on the matter. But yung sa amin lang naman sa Department of Health is on the guidance of the testing protocol, the quarantine protocols, and of course, kung ano yung mga health-related issues. Diyan po kami. At tayo naman po ay sumusunod kung anong meron tayong mandate, ginagawa po natin. Okay, maraming salamat po, Dr. Lorece. That was a DOH Region 7 spokesperson, Dr. Mary Jean Lorece.